You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for American Beautyberry, Calicarpa Americana. The bright purple berries of American Beautyberry grab our attention during the fall season. This native plant grows in the southeastern quadrant of the United States. The five to eight foot tall plant's branches exhibit a loose, open habit. As the berries develop their rich purple color, the plant's leaves begin to turn color. The green summer leaf shifts to a lighter green and then to yellow. By late fall, the leaves have dropped from the branches and the purple berries stand out more noticeably. With colder weather, the berries begin to shrivel and turn brown. After some freezes, the berries turn even darker and dry up further. Uneaten berries may remain on the plant through the winter season. Winter is the time to observe the American Beauty berry stem. Close examination shows that it has a rough texture. The terminal buds also have the rough looking surface. Leaf emergence occurs in late spring and begins with some fuzzy green leaves appearing along the branches. Not only do leaves grow oppositely on the branches, they also appear as new shoots from the base of the plant. Observe the fuzzy white undersides of the leaves as well as the supporting stem. Leaves grow larger and unfurl until they cover the plant in a spring green color. Looking down onto new leaves growing at the tip of a branch, we can see the opposite leaf arrangement, with successive pairs of leaves growing at right angles to the previous pair. This is referred to as a decussate arrangement. As more new leaves grow at the branch tip, they look white as they first emerge, and once again rather fuzzy. The coarsely toothed margin does not extend around the entire leaf. Rather, the base and the leaf tip tend to be smooth. The leaf shape is oval to elliptic, usually with a pointed tip. The veins are arranged in a pinnate pattern with a single central vein. Leaves have a short petiole, which is typically whitish. In the middle of the summer, tiny flower buds emerge at leaf axils. As they grow, the mass of green separates into distinct buds on short stems. Each beautyberry bud looks fuzzy, green, and has four sides. When they become larger, flower buds look less fuzzy. Notice the texture of the branch and leaf petioles. Next, the tips of the buds change to white. The white begins to turn a light pink color. The flower bud is now marked with lines, showing the four petals of the flower which will soon open. Beautyberry flower clusters, which are lower on the branch, develop before the clusters nearer the branch tip. The first flower buds are beginning to bloom. Further down the stem, flowers have already matured and died. Here's a flower cluster beginning to bloom in midsummer. This group of flowers is in full bloom. Let's move in close to these small flowers, which are only about one quarter inch across. When the petals open, two types of structures emerge from the center of the flower. The yellow tipped structures are stamens, which consist of the filament and the anther. The white stringy structures are the pistils. Fresh anthers are bright yellow with pollen and look like two smooth beans bonded together. Older anthers have released their pollen and now look wrinkled. The stamen's filaments are pink. The pistil consists of a translucent white style topped by a two-part or bifid stigma. The four petals are light pink with frilly edges. These older stamens have transformed from pink to white filaments and from yellow to brown anthers. A pollinator is traveling among the dying beautyberry flowers. Flowers turn brown when they die and their petals drop off. 
All that remains is a little green cup containing the beginnings of a green berry. A couple of these berries still have a brown pistil protruding outwards. When we stand back a bit, we can see how small these pieces of green tissue are relative to the size of the leaves of the plant. Fertilized flowers have now become very small green berries. During late summer and early fall, the itsy bitsy green berries swell to become tiny berries. The green berries begin to get some color. The color strengthens and deepens during the fall months. Similar to the flowering sequence, the American Beauty Berry berries ripen from the bottom of the branch toward its tip. And finally, the small one-quarter inch berries mature to a brilliant purple. Berry clusters may be small or large as they surround the branch at its leaf axils and the branch tip. And now we followed the plant a full year back to the fall season, when we had first noticed this plant with its unusually colored berries. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Calicarpa americana, also known as American Beautyberry. Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more images of American Beautyberry, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.